Oh no. When your kid thinks your white couch is a canvas. Bro, I mean, honestly, what kind of parents be having white leather couches when you have kids? I'm not having white anything if I ever have children. I don't want kids, but like if I do, I, the first thing I would ever get rid of is a white couch. Come on, you are asking for trouble. Just because they're dirty. Like even when they eat and stuff, you know? Like not even just for this. Ma, look, I'm just chilling there. Minding his own business like he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh, when you leave your kid alone with the car. Oh. <laughs> Six of everything. I literally see one, two, one, two, three, four, like five Minnie Mouse. And then she's going for the Elmo. Going for the Elmo. Yep. I mean, looks about right. But look how cute she is. How do you say no to that? You're so cute. You know, you'd think I'd want kids based on my reactions to these. I love freaking kids. I used to work with kids. I was an early childhood educator for years. I love children. I just don't want them. But they're cute. I mean, this is just a prime example of a little like snippet, the tiniest little example of uh, how expensive children are. Oh, when you find the missing Lego in the worst way possible, bro. There is nothing, there is nothing that can quite describe the pain from stepping on a Lego. You know what I mean? Like it, to me, it feels like it has its own pain. I've stepped on many Legos because I worked with kids and stuff like that. I've stepped on toys, Legos. Nothing hurts like a Lego does. It's just a fact. It's a very unique pain and it's really annoying and it literally will ruin your day. It'll change your entire mood. It's almost like, you know when you're just like irritable and like you're walking and something gets caught on like a door handle, like your sleeve or your purse or something and like something so small can just ruin your whole day and ruin your mood Legos when you <gasps> when you realize you're all out of tampons even though you just bought a box <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the kid and the lion. They're, this is, your kids are pretty smart. Give them creativity stickers because this is so funny. He was so smart to like use them as claws. And then he's teaching his little brother. Oh, it's too cute. Wanna know something funny? My sister had recently, not recently, but kind of recently sent <laughs> video to me and my siblings um, because she has a little boy and she was like, where is he? And she went upstairs and all over the upper floor, he went and found a box of tampons and took them all out, like took them out of the applicator and just all around the upper floor of her house everywhere was just tampon packages and unused brand new tampons. <laughs> so this is what it reminds me of. Boys are interested, I guess, in these things. Huh? When you thought getting a booth would help them stay in their seats. No, they just climb over. I can't, I have no stories for this one because obviously I don't have kids. So I've never like really had kids that I've had to control in restaurants. Um, I'm always with the parents of children. So not my job. I can only imagine though, because I know how difficult it is to get kids to sit still in general, let alone like out in a public restaurant. That gives me anxiety. Like, I just wanna eat my food. You think I wanna babysit while I'm trying to get some grub? <sighs> I'm gonna throw up. Gross. Ew. Ew. Bro, that is so much pee for such a little kid. Yeah, prime, like this, if this doesn't make you take birth control, I don't know what does, you know? I used to work in the toddler classroom for many years, which meant that I had about up to 15 kids in my class and we had to do three rounds of diapers, like set times of the day we did diaper changes. And obviously if they needed it throughout, we also did that. But I've had some horror stories, even though I had gloves, you know, poop explosions, urine, just the, the works, you guys. So yeah, it's gross. Kids are gross. Cute, but like gross. When you give your kid a popsicle, <laughs> but she looks like she silenced lambs. <clears throat> oh my God, it took my breath away. I was gonna say, <laughs> look at her smile. You're so cute. Look, she has the popsicle in her hand. She's so cute though. Her smile's like an angry smile, but I was gonna say she looks like Pennywise. <laughs> Pennywise the clown, like the, the demonic <laughs> smile. Oh, look how cute though. Oh, just like how perfect. Like, honestly, that could just be her Halloween costume. Like get her an outfit, give her a popsicle. You're good to go. 
My child nonchalantly walking out of the <laughs> Stop it now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little, I don't know what I'm more concerned about, the, the child part or the fact that this is actually a picture from a runway. I appreciate fashion, I appreciate art, but I am very confused by this. So we're gonna move along. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, I'm like, I honestly was just so focused on reacting. I've been itch. I'm reacting to this photo of this runway that I'm like, what am I even doing? We're talking about children. <laughs> this is funny because I mean, I've seen so many memes, videos, TikToks of kids. Somehow they get into like flour in the kitchen. They take a bag of flour, dump it on their heads and peanut butter is another big one that they just somehow always get into. So it's hilarious that this was like such a comparison. Out of everything, this picture. Oh, I didn't see the whole picture. It said me. It's so nice. My kid is playing so quietly. My child nonchalantly walking out of the kitchen. <laughs> oh, that's good. I gotta zoom out of my pictures, I guess. Person, what is it like to work from home with kids? <laughs> Me. <laughs> and then they, oh my God. If you haven't seen the Saw movies, <laughs> I mean, it's so funny even if you haven't, but if you have, it's even better because everyone knows that this crazy little jigsaw man on the bike is just like a terror and the worst news ever and will totally ruin your entire life and your day. So it is really funny when you've seen the movies. <laughs> Throwback to when my kid ate whatever I made for dinner without complaining. I believe it. I so believe it. I was probably one of those kids that complained about everything. I mean, I still complain. I cook my own meals and complain. Like I'm just, you know? <laughs> so this reminds me of memes where I've seen like um, ultrasound pictures. And it's like the last time I got, I slept through a night. <laughs> it was like and if that isn't the truth for me, I don't know what is. I have the worst insomnia of life. Last night, I didn't sleep a friggin' wink, okay? So y'all think I'm ever about to have kids? I will be damned. Oh, I love these bubble things. Okay, lifesicle of a bubble wand. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Purchase bubble wand for $3.99. Blow bubbles using bubble wand, the magical delight of your child. Child insists that it is their turn and that they can do it themselves. Oh my God, I know exactly what's about to happen here. Hand bubble wand to child. Child instantly pours all contents of bubble and wand onto the floor. Everyone cries for an hour. <laughs> I, this is beyond, beyond relatable because I had these at the daycare that I worked at. We definitely use them and this is exactly what toddlers did. They would take it and immediately everywhere. And then they cry and get mad that there's no more bubbles. And it's like, it is your fault. I should be crying. Why are you crying? Y'all, this is why I can't have kids because I will literally just, we, we'll never, yeah, well, there, we're not vibing. We will agree to disagree on everything. We had a bubble machine in my toddler class because we did all this and they loved bubbles. We're like, you know what? We can't do this whole blowing bubble thing all the time. So on a top shelf, we had a bubble machine. It was like, that is not what bubbles sound like, but it was close. Parenthood, when you kind of vaguely mention something, you all maybe might do some hypothetical day and your kids take it as a blood. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. <laughs> Even without kids. I mean, we did that as kids. It was like, we will remember the one time that mom said one day maybe we could do this. And then when they don't, we get so angry when it doesn't happen on our timeline. Like, you know what I mean? It's so, <laughs> that is so creepy true. Like how true that is. It's like, wow, I thought only like I could relate to that. No, no. This is very true. Literally only 15 minutes of fun. I'm bored. I need to poop. Puts a big yeah. circle of dead grass in your lawn. <laughs> oh, but they are fun. It's very, I mean, it's beyond true. I'm sure kids probably, I mean, half the time they might even pee and poo in the pool. Um, it does probably get boring. I like that it says the dad <laughs> and it does kill your grass. That's why they say put a tarp underneath. Just a suggestion. All right, y'all. Well, I hope this reminded you ladies to take your birth control, men, protect yourselves, you know what I'm saying? So, and if you have kids, I am so sorry that this is what you go through on a daily basis. But like, <laughs> not me, better you than me. I'm out of here. Stay classy, stay sassy.
Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.